Hey everybody, it's Jake. Today I'm going to show you how to install Flux and why you should. Let's open up a browser and we'll go to just get flux.com. You can also just search for Flux if that's easier for you. Click the big download Flux link. Save it to the computer. Open up the zip. And double click Flux. Yes, we want to open it. It's OK. And we will move it to the Applications folder. Now that it's installed, we can see it up here in the top menu. Go ahead and close this other window and minimize this one for now. And we'll open Flux and check out the preferences. So here you can see that it's using the sun is up, it's using the recommended colors, it says it's daytime, and it shows not our exact location but the closest large city to us, which is how it knows uh, what part of the world you're in. We're going to make sure we start Flux at login. And change that back to that just in case. And we can see here on the graph that later today it's going to start ramping down the light on our screen so that it looks more like candlelight. And I can show you what that looks like at sunset. It'll look like this. And at bedtime, it'll look like this. And you're going to say, oh, that's hideous and gross and ugly, and I don't want to see that. Yes, for the first week or two, it will take you a little bit of time to get used to it. But the whole reason you're getting used to it is so that you're not destroying your circadian rhythm. And what that is, is your body's way of telling you when you should wake up in the morning and when you should go to bed based on light, which traditionally throughout history was the sun. Although we destroyed that roughly 100 years ago or more uh, when we introduced artificial light, like light bulbs and computer screens in the last 20 years. So let's close Flux, come back up here and look at the different options. Uh, we can set fast transitions, we can sleep it on weekends when we might want to be up later or having fun. We can expand the daytime settings just in case we need to get more work done. We can turn on and off uh, different settings here. There are also different color effects. Dark room, movie mode. Uh, movie mode will be for people that want to actually watch a movie later at night without having flux uh, disrupt the color settings of the actual movie. And we can come in here and disable it in the four different manners that it shows, just so we can get stuff done if necessary and then have it turn back on by itself. You can also obviously quit it. Uh, there are a lot of reasons to use Flux. The biggest one is that it helps improve your sleep cycle. And if you actually want to learn more about it, you can come to this TED Talk on YouTube called Why We Need Darkness. Just just use Flux. Just get it. It's awesome. I love it. It'll be painful for the first week, but after that, 